time, 7.22 p.m. at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The Soyuz first stage delivering 102 tons of thrust from four boosters in a single engine. The first stage 68 feet long, 24 feet in diameter. The first stage burns for two minutes and six seconds. Forty seconds. Fifty seconds. Pressure is nominal. Everything is nominal on board. Unintelligible. Velocity now 1,100 miles per hour for the Soyuz. At 1 minute 58 seconds, the jettison of the four strap-on boosters will occur. Those are completing their job, dropping away at an altitude of 28 miles. The Soyuz traveling then at about 3,350 miles an hour. Boosters separating uh, from the Soyuz. Separation. The escape tower and launch shroud jettison. Three minutes and three seconds since launch, traveling now at a speed of about 4,700 miles an hour for the Soyuz. The second stage of the Soyuz uh, performing as advertised. The second stage, 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter. A single engine providing 96 tons of thrust for three minutes and 28 seconds. Separation confirmed. This is a live view from inside the Soyuz spacecraft. Soyuz Commander Yuri Malenchenko in the center seat. In the right seat, Malaysian spaceflight participant Sheikh Muzaffar Shakur. Visible in this view, a uh, mascot uh, chosen for the Soyuz uh, by Yuri Malenchenko's children. This view now showing ex Expedition 16 International Space Station Commander Peggy Whitson seated to the left of Malenchenko, Yuri Malenchenko, Soyuz Commander in the center seat. This is Malenchenko's third trip to the International Space Station and his second tour of duty aboard the complex. His third long-duration space flight, however, he first flew to the Russian Mir space station in 1994, spending 126 days in orbit during that mission. His first flight to the International Space Station in September 2000 was as a member of the crew of space shuttle mission STS-106. Malenchenko later commanded the seventh resident crew of the complex in 2003. Astronaut Peggy Whitson, a 47-year-old biochemist with a doctorate from Rice University, will become the first female to command the International Space Station. A native of Iowa, Whitson spent almost 185 days in space as a member of the fifth resident crew of the station in 2002, a mission during which she conducted a four-and-a-half-hour spacewalk. A NASA University team has published the first global satellite maps of carbon dioxide in the Earth's mid-troposphere. The study reveals new information on how this greenhouse gas that contributes to climate change is distributed globally and moves around our world. Researchers found the distribution of mid-tropospheric carbon dioxide is...